today is a really sentimental day for me um i lost my dad so today would mean seven years since i lost my dad um i've been moody all week I've, well today's monday but i've been not like feeling myself um my dad passed away before I ever got a chance to meet him and I was five years old the last time I saw him and the next time I got to see him he was going on the ground so every year I go look for him or um, I still have whatever memories of him because I was five years old so I don't think there's much but um, I have my tablet, so today I'm just going to um, do a voiceover, just do a little video and um, read a poem that I wrote when I was um, 11, I think, um, if I remember, because I had this little template, this little booklet that I write in, and when I grew up, I start having this a whole lot of folder leaves and stuff and I write on them. I don't have my folder with me right now. But I started um I started recreating my poems and extending them. So in 2019 I woke up on it. It's called Bedtime Story. I woke up on it and um I rewrite it. I add some new lines, some new paragraph to it, and whatever, because it's really sentimental and it's what I think I remember of my dad. Um, but like I said, I don't have my tablet, so I'm just going to do a little clip and whatever and read it in the background, whatever, because I went to do the hymn, so uh, I, went, I did a little video that said, um, that is um, great. The sad thing about it is that he has a whole lot of land and I go visit his grandparents a lot but I can't go see him because he's all the way in South and his grandparents is in Hanover so I still go visit him because I went to look for him yesterday but if he was there I basically would go look for him every day because that's where I live I'm in the grill and Whenever I'm done by my mom, I always just walk, walk there. I have to take taxi if I'm driving to go. You know, that sucks, but it's life and uh, whatever. But um, yeah, oh. snow, snow just came. <laughs> Say hi, buddy. Gonna be my video. Say hi. It's my little company, and this is Rasco. I think y'all know Rasco. Hey. So yeah, I'll just keep him my oh, he's gone. Just keep him my company. I do videos with you know. <laughs> Say hi buddy. He's so cute. He's so old though. Say hi. Hi everybody. Hi. Bedtime story. He would say words only I could hear. With his limited words, I'd try not to share. But he'd smile upon the full moon, pointing to the stars, what's about to come soon. But it was more about glory, for his voice was my bedtime story. But there's more to what was told. Every word he'd say unfold, surrounded by rusty grills. Our pillar was headstone, but his arms was as comfortable as home. As we dozed off into the night with a torn up blanket and the firefighters turned out their light, a worthy comfort. We had endless fun each time out. Sometimes tear would fill because of the fear that was there about. Times when I fear he'd go, trying not to fear the daylight flow. But he'd say words that a young mind won't understand. 
Light nights trying not to be misbehave. Sleeping on hard pillars and white gray. Why does it hurt when he'd go and people at him objects throw, even with me on his head? But the nights were always pure and clean because I had to find a place to zone and dream. His arms was the best place to be and I never cared what was ought to be because he always just smiled at me. Into the lustful night, his poetry was my bedtime story. As we slept under the moon and it watched over us all night from the danger of the world into daylight. Yet there was nothing to fear. Into the fields of to the fields of Cain, what's the scare? The wind would howl at what would come near, and the fireflies made it all clear. Take me away into the world of mine, a father's love so divine. Kiss my forehead, doze off into the coolness of the night. Fireflies turn out their light. And we weave the moon's spotlight, so there comes the true nature of the night. Stars gathering, peeping out one by one, tuning into Father's story all night long. Crawlers down below, who understand a word he'd say? Not me, a five-year-old who'd love to play. But the more I listen, yet I learn, for even my lack of understanding, just a moment of love was earned. Hold me tight, Daddy, don't let me go. Dozing off into the land of dreams, forgetting where we are. The torn covers over my head, surrounded by rusty grills. Pillars are our headstones, and white grave was our bed. For the nights are never short. For the little times he would drift off path. And our time together did grow. Little me putting on a bedtime show. No big book or graphic pro, just a big wide world understanding what I've yet to know. And while the moon drew near, his mouth twisted in a sardonic smile. As he drew me in near, chatting upon the stars, words weren't so clear. But yet it amazed me, surrounded by rusty old grills, and our pillar was of stone, how father told his bedtime story.